Hello YouTube, it's me Toy Adventures here again with another, uh, well it's not really a figure review, so I guess it's just a video. Um, this video has been a long time coming, I got this a long time ago, like a week or two ago, uh, to do make a video on it, and I'm just now getting around to it. Um, I have another video planned tomorrow, uh, if you guys didn't, if you guys don't follow me on uh, Instagram, tomorrow's video is going to be the review on this the uh the new male rex with infant so that's coming tomorrow but for now we got sent yet another promotional uh offer they approached me on instagram wanted to know if i would review some of their products on video uh they're a company called copper toys and um yeah i mean if you guys remember that the first promotion we got was from goliath games and they sent us a bunch of, um, of board games and, and all that. I had to pretty much act like I cared. I didn't. But this actually uh, kind of, well, it kind of um, relates to what I do. They made, they specifically said they're sending me army themed toys. Now, I don't think something coming out of a box this small would be 1 1 18th scale, which is the scale that G.I. Joe's are on the scale I use. I really wish they did send me something in that scale, so maybe I could even go as far as using it in a video. And then people can ask, well, where'd you get that? And I can direct them to cover toys. I'm pretty sure what they sent me is like Hot Wheels size stuff, you know, the typical army tanks and Jeeps. Um, but we're gonna find out. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the box. All right, so yeah, like I said, this is our second actual promotion we've been doing. And I, this one, at least kind of, pertains to what we do here. Um, you know, if I ever want to do a video with a little, with the mini dinosaurs that they sell in the stores, you know, the mini Jurassic Worlds, that is now an option, because I'll if I have a little fleet of vehicles to take them on. At least I assume so, I'm assuming it's in this box. Okay, we got it open, let's go ahead and move the camera up here. This back. Wow. Check this out. So you get a bunch of these little army vehicles. Looks like you get a tank. It looks like it's supposed to be an Abrams, but not quite. You get an you get like an armored troop tra troop transport right there. You get a, a missile Humvee, a regular Humvee. What looks to be a little bird attack helicopter, and that is definitely just a fantasy military helicopter. So I'm for this. Okay, so we have a Jeep that's way out of scale with the rest of the vehicles on here. It's like its own entirely different scale. Uh, another tank, I'm not sure what model that is, or if it's even really based on a real model. We have an army force, another a uh, armor transport, just a standard transport right there. And a Chinook. Sorry if it's really shaky. I cannot see uh, through the camera well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it in the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they sent us. All right. So as I mentioned before, none of this is going to be able to be used in any videos. So I can't really judge them on that note because uh, they're, you know, they're matchbox size. They're real small. I don't know if Copper Toys has one 118 scale and if you guys don't know what that is that's like your gi joe your classic star wars size um three and three quarter inches also what they're called but i call them one 118th uh these are one 187th scale so they're not gonna work with gi joes but if uh hey copper toys if you guys want to do any more pr uh promotions send me one 118th scale vehicles so i can use them in my videos I can use it in my photography and people will ask, oh, where'd you get that truck? Because people ask me that all the time. Where do I get my trucks? Where do I get my cars? Where do I get my action figures? And uh, I can guide them straight to you guys. But, you know, stuff like this, I can't really use it in a video because uh, unless if I started doing the mini dinosaurs, then I could use them in videos and I probably will. But until then, these won't really find any use with me. But if you, this is what interests you guys, let's take a look. All right, so we already took a look at all the vehicles inside. I named them off. Um, there's nothing really uh, too 
you know, outstanding about the box. Whoa! I apologize for that. My uh, camera stand decided to kill itself on me. Anyway, so yeah, you have all these different vehicles. Uh, then you have their little logo right here, Copper Toys. And uh, yeah, which weird is I never heard of this company prior to this. I've never heard of Copper Toys. Um, I don't know if they like buy uh, already made fi uh, toys and like they're the, the distributor or they're the producer. I don't know. Uh, I didn't know about them until uh, this. They approached me or I found them on Instagram. So I'm, I hope I'm exposing a lot of you guys to them. Once again, if you want to do another promotion, Copper Toys, because I know you guys are watching this, send me something 1 win 18 scale. Then I can really get you guys some uh, notoriety. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, vehicles in the first little set there. Okay, so I got the, I got all these ones out of the box, and the packaging, it's not really a box, but you know. Um, one thing I'm noticing is you can't really tell in person, but these would look so good with the uh, Matchbox Jurassic World line. And these are in perfect scale. Uh, they look good. You know, you've always seen the Humvees in the, like, the Lost World and stuff. So these look really good with them. Uh, I'm sure you, if you really wanted to, you could paint this to look like an engine helicopter. You know, I'm just trying to make it pertain to Jurassic Park. That's my audience. So, yeah. Um, I do have one of the mini dinosaurs that I could put up with them. It's the Triceratops. It came with... Um, Zia, but it's still one of the minis. Like they didn't change the, they didn't make it a hatchling. Just, let me let me show you guys. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. Here's the this is the scale of the of the mini dinosaurs that you can get at anywhere, Target, Walmart, anyone that sells Jurassic World stuff. And so here's how they scale up together. So very nice. If anything, the Triceratops is a bit too big, but if you've watched The Lost World, they're actually pretty big in that movie. So I think it fits. If you get like all the other ones, like the Spinosaurus and T-Rex, you could actually have a pretty cool setup over here. These won't work as like your main vehicles because they're not detailed with engine logos and stuff. But as like background or just dino fodder to get destroyed, these work perfectly. Um, another use for these, because these are actually, I, I don't know about the other vehicles, but the Humvees right here are my favorite definitely out of the set because they just look the best. You know, that's usually what happens when you have vehicles based off of actual... Uh, vehicles when you have toys based off, based off of actual vehicles this roughly looks like a abrams tank uh roughly but not quite this i don't know what model this is supposed to be i'm pretty sure i've driven it in battlefield before this is definitely just a complete fantasy helicopter you know just a generic attack helicopter and this also looks like a a, a real world kind of like a, a little bird i could be mistaken i'm not too well versed on military helicopters but anyway, another use for these is, you guys know, the new Godzilla movies coming out. Godzilla King of the Monsters. And they're going to have, they're going to reissue the, the giant Jack Pacific Godzilla, you know, the giant one. That one's getting reissued. And uh, I think they're, they're making another giant one based off of this new design for Godzilla. And these would work perfectly for as like, uh, you know, military vehicles just to get stomped around and thrown by Godzilla. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm just naming off a few of these uses that would pertain to you guys, because I know what you guys like, and that's Godzilla and Jurassic Park. Anyway, I can ramble on for another hour, so let's go ahead and get onto the vehicles and their uh, their different abilities or, you know, gimmicks or features. So for this little helicopter, nothing too serious is going on. Um, the canopy doesn't open, even though it's, like, empty in there. Pretty sure if you got a tiny little action figure, you could actually put them in there if you got the canopy, canopy open. Uh, the rotor blades up here, they are two separate rotor blades. So they can fold up like that or be deployed out in like the flying formation or whatever you call it. They spin, you know, it's a toy helicopter. The back rear rotor blade is really stiff, so... Wouldn't use that too much. Here we've got the uh, basic Humvee with the uh, rocket launcher on the top. It swivels around. 
and the vehicle rolls. Nothing much to that. You know, it's not too high tech or, or uh, special. Here's the, uh, the Rocket Humvee. Or the, uh, I don't know what you'd call these. I can't remember what they call it. Rocket Pod or something. And you got, I mean, you can move up and down. Uh, the Rocket Pod itself can rotate up and down. So you can get enemies from any sides and really take on Godzilla. That's where I really feel like these would be the best suited is with the giant Godzilla toys. These would look perfect with them. Sorry, I dropped something. <clears throat> anyway, back to the video. Uh, the main turret on this little armored vehicle right here rotates. And it rolls. I like the little detail that you can see inside of the uh, vehicle. But there's nothing too extreme going on here. Here for the tank. The tank, I, th I gotta say, it's the weakest out of the entire set. And that's the big bummer because everybody wants the cool big tank. The only articulation, only thing that moves on this whole tank is the turret. It moves, it, you can turn around and, you know, rotate. It doesn't move up or down, so you can't have it aim up at Godzilla or, you know, whoever you're using this against. And there's no wheels on the bottom. So you're literally just dragging it across the floor. So this is definitely the weakest. And I can't tell which way is it supposed to go because it was packaged like this. But that doesn't look right. This is the way I think it's supposed to go, but they packaged it wrong. I don't know. It's just a weird looking tank. The weakest out of the set, in my opinion. Look, you already have a stress mark right there on the top. Weak. And for the attack helicopter, uh, its rotor blades are not nearly as uh, loose as the little birds. So you can't give you that flick action. Oh, and the back rear tail of the helicopter is extendable and retractable. That's pretty cool. I remember having a toy similar to that a long time ago. But as for that, I mean, there's no like rocket pods or visible guns on it. So I don't know if it's really an attack helicopter. Uh, let me see. Can that canopy open? Because it looks like it can. Ah, that hit me right in the forehead. This toy just assaulted me. But you can take the canopy off forcefully. Where'd it go? That thing hit me pretty hard, actually. Anywho, now that we got them out of the way, let's take a look at the, uh, the second package of vehicles. This is the one with the uh, the Chinook. The, I guess that's a troop or just supplies transport. The armored transport. Another tank. And the oversized Jeep. Let's go ahead and crack this open. And for packaging-wise, I don't know if any of you guys care. Oh, this is rich. This is too funny. Um, I don't know if any of you guys in here are like history buffs. I'm kind of a, I'm, I'm a history buff with certain stuff. You have a modern or futuristic looking soldier right here. And you have a Wehrmacht. You know, one of the Nazi soldiers from World War II. You have a Wehrmacht. I think that's a panzer tank. So you have like <laughs> two armies that were 70 years apart on the same packaging. None of these are World War II vehicles, by the way. But they still put a, uh... Of our Max Soldier and a Panzer Tank on there. There's the Copper Toys logo again. Okay, they got even more crazy stuff on here in the back. I'm pretty sure this is all like video game artwork. But you got like modern looking vehicles. You have a Vietnam Soldier right there. This looks like it's from uh, Rising Storm 2 or like Battlefield Vietnam. Because it looks like, like a video game. These look like stills from a uh, war video game. So that's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, nothing really on the, uh, anything interesting going on on the sides. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so this lot of vehicles is really hit or miss. You guys are gonna have fun with that one in the comments, I already know. You guys, stop. All I said was hit or miss. Don't make any jokes about that. I know you guys are already typing. Anyway, it is hit or miss because there's like a few vehicles in here that I like. I mean, like this APC, it looks okay. Both of the turrets are rotatable. But these, all these vehicles, these just feel so much cheaper than these ones. Like these ones over here, they don't feel like the highest quality stuff, but they look like, you know, toys that could take a bit of a tumble. These feel like they break relatively easily, especially this one. 
Uh, as you can see, it's not even manufactured properly. It's kind of wobbly in there. The tank's an improvement and a uh, downgrade at the same time. Yes, there's wheels. The turret is 10 times as stiff. The gun's permanently aimed up, but that's useful if you're going to, you know, throw them up against Godzilla. Once again, the gun is turned the wrong way. I, at least I think so. But it's like elevated on these wheels. These wheels weren't properly made for it. So when you, it looks like a hover tank. Uh, this feels super cheap with a canopy part that is too small for any soldiers to get in or out. So this special unit is going to have to walk. Uh, nothing really else to that. I mean, these make good background vehicles. If you need cheap, good background vehicles, these will do you good. And for the grossly out of scale Chinook, uh, it's just, you know, hollow plastic little helicopter. Well, I guess if they're die cast. I think they are die cast. I think they're all die cast. Yeah, they are. This rotor blade is all messed up. Hmm. That's pretty much all I have to say about these. All right, guys, it's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. Uh, this, we were taking a look at some samples that Copper Toys sent me. Again, I wanna say this again because I know they're watching the video. If you guys really want, you know, because this, it's probably not going to get that many views because it's not Jurassic Park. But if you guys really want, you know, some exposure from me, the best way to do that is to send me something 1118 scale, like an Army Humvee or, or any kind of Army vehicle in 1118 scale. So then I can use it in a video and people are going to ask where it's from. People always ask where such and such is from. And I can direct them straight to you guys. So... That's something you could uh, do that to actually help. I mean, this stuff is okay, but I've never really been a fan of, of Hot Wheels size stuff. It's never really been for me, not since I was a little, little, little kid. So I can't judge it on the merits of something I would use, but on the merits of what it is, you know, miniature army toys, they'll hold you over. I mean, they're not like Hot Wheels or, or, or Matchbox level of quality. But they're better than most of the stuff out there, especially these, uh, the first pack. These feel like they could take at least a little bit of punishment. These back here feel like they they literally arrived broken. So yeah, that's been me taking a look at the uh, promotional toys sent by Copper Toys. Again, guys, tomorrow the review for the uh, green T-Rex should be up, if not the next day for sure. Uh, after that, I might be going on another hiatus, or I might not be. You know, with the work schedule I have, it's really unpredictable. Uh, I have some time off this week again that I can use for filming. So I might start filming the next uh, toy movie already this week, or I might not. I just want to let you guys know that there might be another hiatus coming, but there might not be. I've been uploading a lot of videos recently just so I can give you guys some content before I go and dip again. <laughs> so, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Toy Adventures, signing off.